Hi there, Vicki here. So today we are making oat milk and it's going to start with two cups of oats. I had quick but I think rolled is probably preferred um, and then adding uh, at least four cups of water to that I just put my entire um, little fridge pitcher over top and uh, let this soak for a few minutes I don't know, maybe 20 or so. Um, and then we are going to work on uh, draining and rinsing the oats some um, <clears throat> until the water runs clear, or at least mostly clear. So this took me, I don't know, maybe a minute in total. I went ahead and rinsed out my bowl on top of the oats too, just to make sure that... I, you know, wasn't being too wasteful with the water. Um, you could also probably collect the um, water and use it in the garden. Um, that would probably be an even better idea. But on this day, I did not do that. <laughs> I did not have time. Um, but got my oats uh, well rinsed. I think this helps prevent some of the sliminess that you can get um, from making your own oat milk especially in this like fast paced version here. Uh, then get your rinsed oats into a blender and add more water on top. Um, I think again, I just use the entire little fridge pitcher, um, but it depends on how much oat milk you wanna make, right? <laughs> and the consistency that you wanna make it. Um, more water is gonna be a little thinner, less water, a little thicker. Um, and then blend that up. We are blending it uh, for much longer than the 30 seconds or so that I've got here. It was quite well blended. And then um, I chose, because I'm using this as a coffee creamer this week, I chose to add um, some brown sugar and vanilla to it. Um, and then I just re-blended it again with these things added. Um, considering how much oat milk I made, I don't think I added too much sugar. It ended up working out really well in my coffee. I think the consistency was great for that usage. And then um, it is time to strain out um, any solids that remain out of the blended mixture. Uh, now this can take some time. <laughs> I think in total this took me about five minutes to kind of get everything drained. After draining, I um, just added my solids into uh, a little Tupperware. Um, there's several things you could do with those. You could put them in baked goods or do like an overnight oat kind of situation with them. Um, I actually ended up right after this blending it into a strawberry fruit smoothie for the kids. So, um, you know, whatever. You could also discard it if the, the texture isn't appealing. But you will have some degree of solids left over. And this was my finished product. So, hope you enjoyed. If you make it, let me know. And until next time, toodaloo!